Hello everyone, welcome to Screencast ID SC10100. In today's screencast, we are going to be creating RF domains. So let's get started. A quick overview of what an RF domain is. RF domain essentially is a collection of site-specific config parameters. It gives the admin the capability to group devices based on a physical location. Common examples uh, for configuration parameters used in the RF domain are country code, smart RF, WIPs policies, etc., which are site-specific. The important point to note here is every single device has to be mapped to an RF domain. Now, the admin does have uh, privileges to create user-defined RF domains, and in today's screencast, we are going to be creating uh, two user-defined RF domains and would manually map them uh, to the appropriate device. A quick uh, overview of how an RF domain would be deployed or configured uh, in this example, RF Domain Corp could be uh, Motorola's office in Schaumburg. Site 1 could be a uh, Motorola office in the UK. Site 2 could be a, a site in Germany. Site 3 could be in France and Site 4 could be in Spain. Now all these uh, APs here essentially have the common profile. Uh, things like M Wireless, M Guest are common to every single site. However, every single AP here uh, or every single site uh, is in a different country and hence the country code has to be uh, different for, for each of these sites. That's where RF domain comes very handy. We can create uh, different RF domains uh, with different country codes. However, all these APs would still get one single profile. Uh, it helps us easily manage and configure our network. In our topology uh, in the lab today, we will create two RF domains. One would be site one, one would be site two. Uh, site one is going to be a subnet of 192.168.5.0. Uh, sub site two is going to be a subnet of 192.168.6.0. You could uh, assume site one being uh, in, in two different countries. You could assume these two sites being in the same country, but different physical locations. One could be on the East Coast, one could be on the West Coast. Uh, and our corporate RF switch uh, could have its own RF domain called Corp. Uh, the essential hardware components uh, required are going to be the RFS controller and the AP7131s, uh, a wired radius server. From the RF domain standpoint, all the config is only done in the uh, RFS controllers. Continuing our wireless enterprise configuration, I have loaded the configuration from Screencast SC10082, to which we will add our RF domain config. So to log in, our username is admin, the password is symbol. To create an RF domain, we will navigate to configuration and then to RF domains. As mentioned earlier, uh, in the factory default state, the RF domain, uh, there is always an R default RF domain defined because every single device has to be mapped to an RF domain. There is no exception, whether it's a switch or an RFS or a AP. Now to create our new RF domain, uh, we will click on add. The first one we are going to create is going to call, be called Corp. The uh, location is going to be in Illinois. Uh, I'm going to give it a country code of United States. As you can see, uh, the other parameters that you could configure here are the Smart RF policies and the WIPs policy. Now, Smart RF uh, has been bought into RF domain because it is site specific. An AP running in site one has nothing to do with an AP running uh, in Corp. And hence, uh, we have created, uh, you can, you have the ability to create site specific smart RF policies. The similar applies to WIPs policies. You could have a WIPs server dedicated to sites or, or multiple different locations. Anyway, for our, uh, simplicity over here, we're just going to create, uh, the RF domain with the country code set of United States. Let's click OK. Let's exit out of here. As you can see, we have our corp RF domain defined here. We'll go ahead and add two more. RF domains. One is going to be called site one. Location is going to be West Coast. And I will give it uh, a country code United States. Click OK. Click Exit. Uh, let's create one more called site two. Location will be East Coast. And I will give it a country code as United States as well. As seen, we have uh, our three user-defined RF domains, the Corp, Site1, and Site2. Ideally, there is no difference uh, in what we have created between these three RF domains. They all have the same country code, United States. 
However, if you had different SmartRF policies, WIPs policies, or you had these different sites across uh, uh, different countries, you would you would have to change those parameters accordingly. Let's uh, go ahead and commit our changes and save it. You should now be able to create a user-defined RF domain. The config file for this screencast can be downloaded from the link as seen on your screen. Thank you.